Wow, Stefan, I've seen a lot of very old, like Doris Sharman, Webster Bennett, manual vertical lays that people are still running to this day. Mm. This is the modern version, right? This is probably going to be so much better for a machine shop that wants to stay productive. Mm -hmm. Before we talk about the machine behind me, though, um, what are you proud about when it comes to Huachon machinery? Yes, uh, Huachon machinery stands for uh, heavy machines, uh, high torque spinals and uh, yeah, high quality, long-term accuracy, long-lasting machines. Many customers use our machine 20 years and longer in tough conditions. So uh, we have much sa um, satisfied customers because the machine runs and runs and runs. So um, yeah, everybody's happy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's These machines important. are sold all around the world. Yeah. Um, if we're here in front of the vertical turning machine lathe here, and there's a few components here that you're actually proud about the fact that Huachon make themselves, which you wouldn't expect from a machine tool builder. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, on this machine, it's especially uh, it's special that we have on our Y-axis. Now, uh, we extended the uh, operations that you can do on the left. It's now uh, similar like a machining center, of course, with a focus on uh, turning. But uh, yeah, we gave the customers more uh, possibilities uh, to process their parts. Absolutely. And this yeah. kind of machine, it's more for short, fat parts. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. It's not for long shafts, it's for small, smaller shafts uh, with a larger diameter than a height. Absolutely. And there's a huge yeah. benefit to putting those kinds of components on a machine like this. What are those benefits? Yeah. Imagine uh, you have a, a part which has a diameter of 500 and a size of 200. Um, when you consider putting this in a horizontal lev, no, you need to have a crane, you have a rope of a crane. Oh, it would be so awkward to try and get that, that yeah. big short fat component on. You have to turn it 90 degree angle no, and here you just put it on the, on the, on the tape or on the spinal, uh, which is laying and uh, it's uh, for the operator much more convenient and of course for automation. Absolutely. And why is this machine, I mean you told me that some customers love these machines mm. for automation. Why is that? Yeah. Um, we offer these machines uh, with a spinal on the li uh, right hand or left hand side. So uh, for production layout, uh, you are very flexible uh, to put your robot uh, between two machines. No? And uh, I think this is one of the key uh, reasons, uh, main reasons why uh, also large customers with a huge production line uh, choose Watchung because they have uh, very flexible layouts. Absolutely, and we're talking big production lines like automotive, mm -hmm. making disc brakes for uh, big automotive vehicles. Yeah. Um, what else about the machine makes this well suited to automation? There's actually a really interesting feature in the right-hand side of the machine over there, isn't there? Yeah, it's the right-hand side. Uh, we have a tool magazine now, and uh, tool magazine yeah, enables uh, the customer to have a, a larger autonomy letting the machine run because you have spare tools now, which makes this uh, process uh, more, uh, yeah, you have uh, more spare tools, so you more do not availability have to different change tools. that much. Yeah. And some viewers might think we've got a tool magazine. Well, of course there's a tool magazine. There's one tool magazine there. Mm -hmm. It's the second tool magazine. So you have like a, a tool changer here and a second tool changer so you can make the best of mm -hmm. live tooling on the main uh, and then loads of different kinds of turning tools to do lots of different styles of operations on mm -hmm. the demo part here. Mm -hmm. Brings me to the demo part you're showing. Yep. What are you using this demo part to show? Um, yeah, this demo part, uh, as you can see, we have uh, some drillings uh, which are not in the center. Um, this is uh, what the y-axis uh, uh, lets you do. You can move the tool out of the center, uh, um, cutting pockets. Um, yeah, it's only possible with three axes in the machine. and. All three axes have box guideways. Um, yeah, it's also Watchong. No? We have uh, for the heavy duty cutting box guideways. And uh, this in conjunction with our uh, Y axis now, uh, I think, yeah, the best stable concept we can offer. Yes. So we are very proud now of a VT650 YMC. Yeah, super uh, stable machine. Yeah. And I guess if people, if com customers can now, are now able to do a little bit of milling, some, even some flats and some drilling, chamfering, tapping, chamfering, yeah. all without taking the, comp the component off from mm -hmm. doing all the roughing operations. Yeah. What does that do? Does that save another, another machine? What does that benefit? How does that benefit them? Yeah, of course it saves uh, another machine. Uh, in, in some circumstances, of course, it's not a milling center, but uh, yeah, many operations are done now. No? 
Yeah. It's not, not a milling center, but uh, it saves, uh, in, I think, in many applications, the second machine. Perfect. What we are aiming for. Brilliant. So it's not 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 a milling center, but it's it's very, very close to for what is a vertical turning machine. Make sure maybe that can help replace your Doris Shamans. Mm -hmm. And it's built for automation as well. That's the VT650 from Huachan.